What is going on everybody man? King Recon here, One Piece episode 896, the final episode of the filler arc that is the prologue to the movie Stampede. Now I received some news the other day when it comes to the uh, what could be happening here in the next couple months. Apparently there's a rumor going around, or not even a rumor, it's a confirmed listing that on September 26th, AMC has One Piece Strong World listed as uh, something that's going to be airing in the theaters at that point in time. Now, one of two things could happen here. Either they're doing a 20th anniversary special, where they're going to be showing Strong World, Film Z, Film Gold, um, and then Stampede, of course, for like a 20th anniversary type of, of special event. Or it's just a placeholder. And because there's been no official announcement, they just have Strong World there until they can officially say it won't be Stampede. So we can assume that we're going to be getting Stampede at the very least in 2019. I think that is a safe assumption that they, they, in the same way that we did with the Dragon Ball movie, where we got uh, the original Broly film and the Janemba film uh, before Super, Dragon Ball Super Broly came out, I think that we might be getting the same thing with Strong World, uh, Film Z, Film Gold, and then Stampede. So it's safe to assume we'll get Stampede, if, if not in September or in October, I'd probably say around November or December, as a part of like a 20th anniversary event, or we could get it on in October, for it to actually be a 20th anniversary event because you know how uh, marketing teams and Funimation or any business um, would love to have that type of marketing. Like, oh, this is the 20th anniversary film, celebrate on the actual 20th anniversary month of One Piece in October. Uh, let's go and, and, and watch the 20th anniversary movie in One Piece Stampede to celebrate uh, the, the anniversary, right? So I think that's what they're gonna go with because from marketing strategy, it just makes sense. But, so I'm gonna say October. But at the very least, at max, I probably see November, December, we're getting Stampede over here. And I hope that y'all get it as soon as possible, too. I know that there's been some listings already for other parts of the world, but where I live, we still don't know when Stampede's going to be coming. So we'll see what happens there. But regardless, let's get right into this week's episode in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... One dream, one wish, over the top. Never get tired of it, man. Never get tired of it. I, I do think that just giving it a bit more time, I think it might end up being my favorite opening. Seriously, I, I already feel that way. I already feel like it's my favorite. But the thing is, is when I go back and listen to some of the other ones, I'm like, flag narts. Dude, I want to watch this movie so bad, dude. Bro, I just having all the supernovas in the film and fighting up against Mecha Godzilla Messenger uh Megatron man. And you have Bullet, bro. Douglas Bullet. <laughs> Warakote! Bro, look at how Beast Loopy looks here, man. They have like a Kingdom of a War. I still can't. Bro, Hina. Hina's looking A1. Zora and Fujitora. Croc. Mihawk. Bro, Snake Man, bro. Look at that Mecha Godzilla thing, man. They're all fighting up against that. And it looks like the supernova is gonna fight that thing, and then against B B Douglas Bullet himself, it's gonna be these individuals. Look at that, Buggy! I can't wait, man. Over the top. See, I'm so used to us watching Wano episodes, I was expecting the Yes, it's the GOAT recap theme. It is the GOAT recap theme, man. And like I said, previously, the DBZ recap theme, for years, had always held a special place in my heart. Japanese one, man. 
and uh, I believe it's Chain of Predators in Hunter Hunter, where they're used in the Chimera Anarch. Amazing OST for recaps. But this soundtrack right here, or the, or the one that they use for Wano, that Shamisen, it's the best recap theme I've ever heard. That just fits the arc so well. It's great having Luffy and Hancock together on screen. Feels like it's been so long. My man just wants some Pepsi, bro. Give my man some Coke. You know, there was that question a long time ago. Like, why doesn't Oda include more bounty hunters in the story? Who knows? My man can only fit so much into a story, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You see Zoro and Sanji there. They're going ham? Of course they are. <laughs> Yo, they surrendered. They said, hold on. Wait. Hold on. That Zoro and Sanji, dog. Relax. Chill. They don't want to hear any of that, dog. Ooh. That was a nice shot there. Luffy's eyes. Spends legit using a, a jet pack that gets powered by water. Literally my childhood. <laughs> okay. Your man got the ground cracking. Oh yeah, the chick with the beast design! With the two earrings! That design is gold. Straight flames. Do you out here using water guns, man? Like it's for kids. <laughs> I guess this truly is a 20th anniversary special. They're celebrating four kids in a filler arc. Is that Giles is a rat? Yo, slave arrow is a. That's a dangerous technique, man. That's a dangerous technique. Goes right back to Luffy, uses a bazooka. You know, Luffy does, definitely doesn't consider this man a threat when he's still in base form. <laughs> no ornament hockey, no G2, G3, G4. I mean, of course not G4. I wouldn't need G4 against this dude. But <laughs> my man's is in base form, dog. Okay, a little bit of hockey, all right. I'll give you a little bit of hockey, man. For trying. Those are for the whip. It looked like he held back there for a sec. Or not really, but it looked like his equipment wasn't working. Fusen. Pistol kiss! That move is dangerous in Jump Force. All of Hancock's moveset is dangerous in Jump Force. Is that like a water whip? Oh, like a water whip. She's a Pokemon? A sword is made of carbonated of course. It's a carbonated stream sword. A carbonated stream sword. 
This man... <laughs> Hell, Luffy, bro. Just use Conqueror's King Hockey on this man, bro. Knock him out. End it. End the day. Win the day, bro. Is that bullet? Oh, bullet ended up destroying this man, either his island or his uh, or his crew. Once you go out to the sea, wherever you go, pirate power user pirates are making a mess. Douglas bullets, dude. An ex member of the Roger Pirates. I like I like how it continuously transitions between both of them. Oh, they're actually oh she's here now, so it, it's two v two. That's a cool blade. This has like Kylo Ren's lightsaber made of water. Car no, I'm, I apologize. Carbonated stream sword. Carbonated stream sword. This guy again. Ginger. Killer rig? Carbonated jetpacks, man. That's one way to do it. That's that's the king. That's the king. Where are you looking? Where are you looking at? I guess I committed quite a quite a lot of atrocities. Look down on her Hancock, for your own benefit. Hit her with that. Looking down on somebody so hard, he look up. Oh, there we go. No matter what I do, I'll be I'll be forgiven. Because let them know. <laughs> let them know. This man Luffy used a gum gum rocket. Straight up head first. Just classic Luffy. Yeah, this man this man's whole either his whole island, ship, or something. That he cared about got decimated by bullet, bro. Bullet went ham. Dun, dun, dun. I, I, this was my ringtone a couple of weeks ago. I changed it back to the Luffy one. This one. Every time I hear this, <laughs> I remember one time I forgot. Uh, it was whenever I was reacting. I think it was during Reverie. I heard the I heard the thing and I looked towards my phone. I thought somebody was texting me. <laughs> That's been a ringed over so luck. This setting reminds me of Punk Hazard. Seeing like everybody with like gadgets and gear. And surrounded by all these containers and Shoo wah 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 wah. Mata Sedana.
Wow, well, we love to hear this. The power and terror of carbonated water are materialized into this form. Carbonated water, man. History's greatest evil bullet, the demon air. This dude really doesn't like bullet. I mean, I can't blame him. A bullet really took out his old crew. Or island. Like I said, I don't know, whatever the heck he did. Send Luffy flying. See, whenever I heard rig, I thought of like an oil rig. I wasn't thinking about this type of rig. I was confused. Let him know it's it's weak. My man's just finished fighting. Caught a curry for hours. You think carbonated water attacks are gonna hit? They're gonna hurt the king. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Mm, mm. Hancock's out of here. Carbonated stream sword and a carbonated bazooka, man. Hancock just come down. Oh, that was a good shot. Boom! Get pwned, dude. Hey, you're next. Love your design, but you're taking an L to the pirate queen. Bah! One shots. Y'all never stood a, a chance in the flagnards against Hancock and Luffy. If you gotta have more belief in the king, dog. If Luffy can do it, Luffy could have one shot at this man years ago. <laughs> My man's gonna hit him with that conquerors king hockey, it, it would have been over. That would have been the end of it. Gear second, all right. Okay, Mr. Carbonated Water. My man's is going up all around it. Using his Jimmy Neutron skills. That's him straight on the ground. Only exists for me to get rich. And I said pirates only exist so that he can get rich. I guess that's a mindset. <laughs> I guess that's a mindset. I don't need dreams or the one piece. Because they don't really... Oh man, here we go. Luffy, one shot him just for that. Just for what he said. That man, that, that man went after dreams and the one piece, bro. That's not acceptable. You have no conviction. And I won't lose to Facts! One shot him! All right. He's gonna have to hockey that up too, right? He's going for an elephant gun? There it is. Elefanto gun! Dun, 
Dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun. Oh, that, that, that's the heat. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. He's done. It's over. It's over. One elephant gun. That's all it took. Obliterated. I love that technique so much, man. <gasps> Charges it all the way back here. It comes <sighs> Doom. <laughs> the first thing I thought of whenever I saw that was, yo, Luffy got invited to Smash? Luffy's in Smash Bros? You got the envelope, dog. Look at that, man. Luffy, Hancock, we see Killer, Bonnie, Law. And to think that instant messenger Sama has uh, that that same bounty poster ripped up. At least they finally got their cola. I mean, <laughs> carbonated water, carbonated. Stream Sword. I love their designs. Robin's design, Nami's design. Uh, Hancock has a, has a really nice design for Stampede. Uh, Zoro, Sanji's, Usopp, Wamba Usopp with the cap. Frankie has those things. I, I like them. I, li I like their designs. They're really nice. My boy Luffy looking like he's going to 4th of July uh, party. You got the invitation? <laughs> We're on the way. See you at the Pirate Fest. Look, I'm looking forward to that. Man, I'm gonna miss him. I can see him again, for real. I mean, I'll have a date with him. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. That's a good way of looking at it. The soundtrack of legend. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> Legendary. Gonna forget my boy broke with the colored fro. That's factual, Sanji. That is factual. Rare sake. <laughs> where, where is that fire festival going to take place? Delta Island. Robin's looking mad fresh in this outfit. Roger's treasure. Y'all know the Roger we talking about? There's only one Roger! <laughs> Racing against other pirates to find Roger's treasure. It's exciting! Ah, oh, man. I want to watch the movie. Ah, oh, just like in every single film. Or a prologue. They always show the... Are they, they going to show the bullet? Killer Rouge for the Mad D Monk! Oh, you Rouge! I wish I could let you see it. To Roger. Look at that place at night. It's gonna be the greatest thing in history. The whole ocean world will finally change by my hands. Do your world enjoy it? This festival. The exciting pirate fest. And you see them all coming in. Boo, Jake, Bonnie, oh, kids, yo, Capone, gang, gang, Rouge, K 
kid killer. They're all coming up in the next summer, man. And then look at Polich, bro. He's waiting. I'm gonna stop Roger. Only the strongest one will survive. Yo, I can't wait. Bro, I wanna watch the movie, man. Alright, let's see this preview. I wanna see how next week's gonna look, because next week's gonna cover 912. Back to water for the girl. <gasps> the the stride on time I seen. Levine Zoro against Hockey. They're not gonna stop at the 912? We're actually gonna see them go at it? Yeah. <sighs> it's over. It's over. It's over. Next week. Greatness incoming, man. Greatness incoming. Yo. <laughs> Carbonated sword streams. But man, listen. Just having Luffy and Hancock together for this what made the entire filler arc worthwhile for me. Because it, it's been so long. And and if, if we're going to have filler, we might as well have character interactions that we almost never have. You know, I think that's a good way to, uh, to give us some fun entertainment. Especially when it comes to something like this. Uh, where it's more of like a prologue for a film because we know that Cedric and his gang they were just meant there in order for us to sympathize with them and and put a little bit more um, hype on Bullet and the type of person and the type of character that we can expect Bullet to be. Um, so they were meant to be fodder anyway. But I I very I very much enjoy the the the, the character interactions man as always with Hancock and Luffy just having them together on the same screen is always nice. Uh, but super excited for the film, man. I cannot wait to see all of those wonderful interactions that we never get to see in the series with all those characters in one place. Godner, for the entire runtime, too, dude. We're gonna be having non-stop interactions and moments, and it's gonna be so awesome. There's gonna be one of those films that you can just rewatch over and over and over again just for the amount of, of awesome uh, moments and interactions that we never get to see in the actual series. So I can't wait for that, man. A true 20th anniversary film uh, but like I said before I am wondering what they're going to do when it comes to uh, uh, this whole movie situation over here because they said September 26 we're gonna get strong world apparently in theaters so either they're gonna show strong world film gold and film Z before stampede in theaters is sort of special or they have strong world there is a placeholder uh, the name Strong World is a placeholder until they get confirmation and the official uh, announcement that Stampede is coming out over here, which would be crazy. That would mean that if, if that is factual in September, that's the fastest One Piece movie's ever come to America because that would mean a month, only a month's wait because the movie comes out on August 9th uh, for Stampede and we would be getting it on in September. But since I don't know if that's the case, like I said, I'm I'm sticking with between September and December. I don't think we'll, we will get past 2019 without watching Stampede over here. I don't think so. At the latest, latest January. At the latest January. But I don't think so. I truly do think that they're going to take advantage from a marketing standpoint and they're going to to to, to say it's a 20th anniversary special. I think we shouldn't want peace everywhere. Um, for, the, for that very reason, because it's the 20th anniversary. Um, at least that's what I would do if I was like, like the head of marketing. Because uh, it's just right there on your face. Like, yeah, the, the anniversary's in October. For the 20th anniversary, the movie's coming out in August. We have two months of, of uh, putting the film together in its English version. I think that's, that's enough time to put in the theaters, you know? I, I mean, I, I know the amount of work that goes into it. You know, I'm trolling. But I think if they can stretch it thin, or if they've already been working on it, like if they're already working on it now, they can make it in October. I think they can make it in October, man. If they can make it anywhere around the world in, um, in what's that called, in, in September, cause we, which is when a lot of the other release dates are coming, we can get in October, man. Come on, coach. We can get in October. We'll see what happens. Uh, anywhere between September and December, I'm expecting this movie to come out over here. I'm super stoked just to have those wonderful interactions and see them in these new designs and seeing Bullet and finding more about his story with Roger, having a Roger sighting in a movie. That's gonna be dope. And then, um, of course, just seeing all the other wonderful characters in the One Piece world. 
all gathered together in one place. It's going to be one of my most rewatched things in the whole series, that's for sure. If if it's if it's good, of course, which I'm expecting it to be. But I can't wait, man. It's going to be awesome sauce, but I hope everybody has an awesome sauce of a day. Take care. What did y'all think about this filler arc? Now, did, y'all, did you all enjoy the uh, the Hancock and Luffy character moments as much as I did? And shout out to uh, the Toei, uh, the people over at Toei, Toei-sama, for actually acknowledging 4Kids, because these guys were clearly inspired by 4Kids villains when it comes to carbonated water instead of actual weapons. Man, I'll tell you what, that's the 4Kids thing to do! You know what I'm saying? Water gun style, but... Anyways, I hope everybody has an awesome, awesome day. Take care. One Piece greatness. I'll see y'all next week for an episode of that one of awesome sauce. And it's looking like it's going to be a GOAT episode. They're going to be covering quite a bit of content, which I'm extremely, extremely excited about. So, can't wait, man. Can't wait. A lot of screenshot, profile picture, wallpaper worthy moments coming from next week's episode. I can already tell based on the preview. So, can't wait, man. Y'all have a good one. One Piece awesome sauce. <laughs>